And here we are again, discussing about the new RK one up machines that was been shown and displayed at E3 2019. Um, unfortunately, I'm sorry I'm a little bit late on introducing this new item to you guys. I've been very, very busy with work, with my primary work, and Dylan and Michael are also working on a piece of the coverage that they did of the E3. So we're a little bit behind in, a, in our schedule getting this material out to you. So we apologize for that. But uh, today I did a piece alone, separate from what we was doing together on the RK 1UP machines. And I just found out that they was there at E3. And I wish I was there. If I didn't have to work, I would try to be there live to be able to see these machines up and personal. So, uh, let's start getting down to the nitty gritty. Let's talk about these RK 1UP machines. I am excited for these new machines that's coming out that I will be showing to you guys today on my show. So, let's get this ball rolling and let's get the show started. <laughs> Now, I have been watching and looking at the coverage of the E3 conventions, and uh, like I said, Michael and Dylan are having their piece uh, that they have put together, that they did their coverage of E3, and they will present to you later on this week what they thought about the E3 and the games that they were presented by Square Enix, Microsoft, uh, uh, Ubisoft, Nintendo, and many others that showed up from the show. Um, I'm covering the piece, uh, one of my extra bonus, I could say. One of my extra bonus pieces that I covered was the RK 1UP. Now, when I started the show, I was talking more a lot about these RK 1UP machines. And a lot of you people uh, gave me a lot of feedbacks and response and wanted to know more about these machines and when I was going to get other machines to display in my home. Um, like I said, once again, I've been busy with work. Um, we were short staff, so I've been doing a lot of crazy hours. But now I'm having a little bit more time to do these shows and to cover the RK one up. So um, upon looking at the E3 convention that was that was displayed uh, these two weeks ago, um, I was stoked to hear that they are they have came out with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle arcade machine. Now, um, I will be showing pictures of these arcade machines that I'm talking about here in the show later on at the end of the show. Um, so, like, so you guys can see the pictures of these arcade machines. Um, and I'm happy that they finally listened to a lot of the fans and the customers who wanted these machines. And the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle machine is going to come out with the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Turtle in Time. That is an awesome package to have for, for $330. But it's not going to be $330. It's going to be $350. Just because the simple fact is it's going to be having a four-player console. That's right, folks. You hear it. Four people can play at the same time. That's awesome because now you actually bringing in the old arcade style games where back in the days when it was an arcade, you did play four players. You had four players play all at the same time, taking each uh, control of each turtle, uh, Ninja Turtles, and you're all playing together as a group. I think to me that's, uh, that's wonderful. It's ecstatic. I, I can't wait till I purchase these things. Um, I looked at the videos and I looked at the pictures of how the arcade cabinet looks, the style, the designs, the bezelments, uh, the way they recaptured what the arcades uh, of the Ninja Turtles looked back in the 80s when they came out in the arcade, they got it down to the detail, folks. I mean, when you look at these pictures, you're gonna be like, oh my God, I gotta get me one. I definitely gotta get me one. Cause I know I put myself on the list to get one. Uh, I'm still, <laughs> right now, trying to work on getting Mortal Kombat because I'm impressed by how they did Mortal Kombat. But to see how they did Mutant Ninja Turtles, oh my God, you, you, you can't help but to get these things. I mean, if you one of the old school arcade players like me, who've been a video game since I was 12, and in the 80s, I played these arcade machines when, in the 80s, 
I'm like, wow, they just, it's flashback. It's a definite flashback of what you used to did when you was a kid. When you used to drop those quarters in there and play those arcade machines day after day after day, night after night. I mean, just wasting your money on those machines because those, those games was well worth it. Uh, if you look at the graphic details, they got it down to the bezel. They got the arcade style, the original game of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm talking about the original video game of the arcade style uh, classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They got it down pat, and I'm like stoked. I can't wait till August this thing comes out. I would definitely buy it on day one. Um, it's definitely a, 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 a purchase. It's definitely worth having it in your collection. Uh, to me, I think it does. Um, another one that impressed me that they got coming out, and like I said, I'll be showing pictures of, of these things at the end of the show, um, is the Marvel superheroes. They brought out the Marvel superheroes. Can you believe that? The old 80 games where you look at, uh, you know, you have the X-Men, and then you have the Marvel vs. Capcom kind of theme, and then you got the Punisher. No one remembers the Punisher. I remember playing that not only in the arcade, but I remember playing it on a video game machine one time when it dropped on on an arcade machine. I mean, on a video game machine, and, and it, it was it, you know it wasn't a popular game. A lot of people thought it was boring, but I thought it was a, a great beat 'em up video game. It was, that's all it was. It was a beat 'em up video game for Punisher. You know, you use the weapons, you use your hands. It reminds me a little bit like King of Fighters. That's what it, it definitely reminds me of. Just minus the Punisher and minus the weapon, but just the strong, you know, guy going through the streets and just beating up thugs. That's, I mean, that's how I remember uh, King of Fighters and Punisher. And then to have Punisher added to the cabinet, because in this cabinet, you get Marvel superheroes, you get the X-Men, and then you also will get Punisher. And the way they, they, they presented this uh, arcade machine is they even change how you change the different games. It's like the, the, the menu is totally different. It's revamp is totally different. It's changed. Um, and I think uh, it's wonderful to have. Uh, um, um, that's also going to be dropped in August. Can't wait to get that one. I, I, I think it's well worth the, the, the purchase to buy. If you're into the, you know, if you remember the Uncanny X-Men video games, if you remember the Marvel superheroes with the fighting style games, you remember the Punisher, then this is well worth the purchase. To me, I think, once again. So you have two uh, arcade machines that is well worth purchasing. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Marvel superheroes. Gotta get them. Like I said, I will show you the pictures of what they look like. Um, you'll be stoked on how they RK one up did this. I think the designs, the embezzlements, once again, the button layout, everything looks very, very good, as well as the actual gameplay, uh, which I couldn't show you the footage of that one, but I will leave links and just and links to where you can see them on YouTube from the E3 uh convention that they showed. Uh I will Drop that in there so you guys can check that out and also look at the pictures and the designs that uh, RK one up did. Now, this is the special one. This is the one that made me blow my mind. I mean, my, my brain literally peeled and an alien popped out and said, what the fuck? I mean, yeah, it really blew my mind. RK one up had presented Star Wars. Arcade, not the new one, not the EA version, the arcade style old 80s, once again, classic Star Wars. Has the whole Star Wars cabinet where one side you have the Death Star, you have the TIE Fighters flying through and face of Darth Vader on one side, and then the other side you have this, the symbol of the Rebels, then you have the X Wings, and one of the X Wings shooting at the TIE Fighter, the same design that they had when it came out, when Star Wars came out 
back in you know back in the 70s and 80s when Star Wars uh, George Lucas dropped us with the first Star Wars and then they came out with the arcade game the exact same style but we're not finished there yet you're just not only getting Star Wars on this cabinet you got Star Wars wait for this wait for this one Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi all three games on these cabinets for you to have at home to play they showed it the four foot version and they showed it with the riser and the risers come embezzled with the Star Wars logo and the designs of Star Wars at the bottom of the cabinet what the fuck excuse my language but I'm like whoa you just not only hit me with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you not only just hit me with Marvel Superheroes, Uncanny X-Men, and The Punisher, but then you slapped me, punched me in the belly, kicked me in the balls, and then threw me down a flight of stairs with a freaking Star Wars cabinet? RK 1-Up, you have outdone yourself again. You are going to make a shitload of money because how many people who remember back in those days of those arcade machines would love to have those sitting in their living room. You know how many you know how many people you can entertain with that one? And mind you, I will show you, like I said, I have plenty of pictures to show you at the end, but it has the TIE Fighter control for you to use. Awesome! You cannot imagine how that will look good in someone's living room. In my living room, as a matter of fact. I mean, to have that in my collection, RK1, you, 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 you guys, you, you the man, you the man. I, I, I don't know what else to say. You just blew my mind with these three games of, of arcades that I'm hoping, now they didn't announce when Star Wars is gonna come out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Marvel Superheroes with X-Men and Punisher, all coming out in August, from what I understand. But they did not announce when Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi arcade cabinets will come out. We probably, they may try to spring that out on us in maybe around Christmas, but they did not say whether that was coming out in August. I wish it would come out in August because that'll be three arcade cabinets that I will get. Not just two, but three that you will see sitting right here. Already behind me in this space behind me is reserved for Mortal Kombat and I need to go and run and get that one so I can put that in the middle so you guys can see that behind me. But uh, most of this stuff is going to get spread out uh, from this wall all the way across. It's going to be dedicated to all just RK1. Um, so I'm going to get every last machine that RK1 I've got. And I'm definitely going to get Marvel versus Marvel Superhero, Uncanny X-Men, and The Punisher. I would definitely get that cabinet. But I would most likely on my wish list, whenever it is ready to come out, is to get Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Like I said, I will show you the pictures of the uh, cabinets at the end of the show. I will also leave you the link and, and uh, to where you can see the videos of them displaying this at E3, as well as uh, pictures that you would like to download and probably admire until they come out, just keep looking at them and see how they look uh, until they come out and, you know, hopefully you guys have purchased them. Uh, so uh, I'm ecstatic to see these uh, machines come out. Now, for what I understand is they have not stopped there. They have other machines that they are looking to come out that hasn't been announced yet. Uh, we're looking at the uh, future of The Simpsons that's coming out, which I know that's going to be a four-player. Now, because they did the, uh, the, uh, uh, the they started to do the cabinets where they're having a four-player mode, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's four players. If this is successful, then it's going to open the doors for The Simpsons to come out. And the Simpsons, you remember, if you remember how the arcade machine was back in those days, it was a four-player, uh, uh, it was four-player control. You control Sim, you call Homer, you control Maggie, you control Marge, and you can control the baby and Bart. So I mean, we control Bart, but not the baby. But you control Bart, uh, Maggie, uh, Homer, and Marge. 
So you can control those characters and you can play four players, you can play three players, you can play two players, you can play just by yourself, and you can play these different characters by yourself, whichever way you want to do it. But if this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle takes a hitch, and, it's, and, I, and I'm talking about it, it's going to skyrocket off. Because the way it looks like how they got this thing set up, you got enough room for four people to play. I mean, this thing is long. Um, so if this does uh, goes well, then we will be seeing The Simpsons coming out probably next year, uh, right after uh, or right after the holidays. But uh, we also I have also seen uh, some footage of Dig Dug as well. Um, I I seen the miniature version of it. I haven't seen the big style arcade classic ones. Uh, for that yet. I'm sure they're working on making that one. But just to let you know, it is out there, folks. It is out there. And it's going to be made. So you'll be able to have all these classic games. I see Golden Tee, which gives you all uh, five of the Golden Tee if you're into golfing. Uh, they just display that in E3 as well. I remember playing Golden Tee uh, 99 and then 87, stuff like that. So um, I was never into the golf games, but uh, it was fun to play. It has the same roll ball as the centipede where you uh, hit the tee. I mean, you hit the, you know, they use the golf to hit the tee and make the ball fly and stuff like that and get it close to the fairway and stuff like that. So um, it does have that feel. So I seen that in E3. It looks like a, it do, it's a classic. It was an archaic style. Um, they have brought that out as well. So um, so that's what all they show. Like I said, I'm ecstatic with the Star Wars. The Star Wars thing just blew my mind. So I just can't wait till that comes out. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely want to get that cabinet. So in light of everything that I told you about the E3, uh, just for the arcade one-up. Now, like I said, we have the other part of the E3 that we also covered of games that's coming out for the Xbox One, the PS4, the Nintendo Switch, and also the revealing was they had a reveal, but they talked about uh, the Project Scarlet for Xbox, and PS uh, PlayStation had talked about the PS5, which I do have specs and uh, specification on both units that I will be displaying and talking about later on this week, so tune in for that one. Um, so, you guys, tell me, in, down in the description below, are you going to get either one of these machines? I will, like I said, I will put that pictures up so you guys can see it. Let me know which ones you're going to get. Which one is your favorite? Do you remember these classic games back in the days when you was a child? And would you like to have these in your home to entertain your friends and family? And also entertain your kids, to let your kids know... Hey, this is what dad, this is what mom used to play when we was kids. You know, when we used to, before we had video game consoles, we used to go to the arcades and drop quarters in, and these are the type of video games we used to play. Um, will you be displaying that to your kids? Because my kids are stoked about these two machines, and they love it. They, uh, they can't wait to get my hands on the other ones because they are being introduced to the world that I used to be known to play in when I was their age, and, you know, and my daughter's 12, and my, I mean, my son is 12, and my daughter's 9, so I was around their age when I played these arcade-style games, so uh, it's, it's fun to see them play it and enjoy it, and just, you know, seeing how I used to play games back in the days, so um, you guys tell me, are you getting it, which one are you getting, um, are you getting, uh, are you going to get the Star Wars? Are you going to wait for that one? Are you going to get the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Or are you going to get the Marvel Sega, which has the Uncanny X-Men and Punisher? You guys tell me down in the description below uh, which one you're going to get and which one are you happy to have in your home. Once again, I want to thank you guys for uh, viewing this show again. Like I said, I'm sorry for the, 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 the late of getting this news out to you guys. It's been really, really hectic for the past couple of weeks. I had to work right through the E3 uh, convention week, and I wasn't able to be down there to view this and, and, and do this live down there. But next year, hopefully, I will be able to be down there in E3 so I can display this, in, you know, this on my show 
and be able to walk around and try out some of the products that will be coming out for 2020. So, uh, you guys, tell me how, how you think you like this video. If you are uh, interested in getting any of these Arcade 1UP uh, machines, please leave your, uh, just, uh, leave your information down below. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you think about the show. Once again, like I said, I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, we are working as best as we can to get this material out to you. I'm just sorry we're just a little bit too late. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching the show once again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for the time for looking at it. I appreciate it. You guys be safe. Love, love each other. Love your neighbor. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.